Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner and we're going to be heading out of town on a camping trip. It's Friday morning here in County Line. I got the day off and I got Monday off. So guys, we're going to be heading out of town on a camping trip here. It's going to be four days and we're taking the entire family. Although we do have a toy hauler, guys, we're going to be changing it up. I actually was able to rent us an RV here. It should be a lot of fun. We actually have to go pick up the RV. So while the family is getting packed up, let's take the F-150 over to the dealership and pick up the rental. Diesel's been out all morning here running around the yard and I already did give him a few treats here But uh, uh, he's gonna be staying with one of our neighbors, uh, which is gonna be really good here They're also gonna watch the house as well So we are all good to go here, but we are actually be heading over to Elm Creek It's about four to five hours away and we are going to a pretty well-known campgrounds that recently opened up within the last few years So pretty exciting, but we need to get the RV and then we are gonna be bringing a lot of toys here with us we want to have fun and I do think one of my buddies uh, in his family is gonna drive up as well which I am pretty excited for here but uh, hey let's get on over to the Ford dealership well guys there it is the Ford dealership has it right out front for us now this dealership guys just started a new program here they are going to be renting Ford RVs and this one here guys is a fairly new one it is actually a Ford E350 here with a Fleetwood camper it is 35 to 40 feet long this thing guys look how sweet it is here we do have slide outs we do have an awning I mean this has all the bells and whistles here so I'm going to go sign the last uh, paperwork here do a quick walk around maybe uh, they're gonna uh, explain a few things uh, that way I know how to uh, get it set up at the campsite here but we need to get back to the house we're supposed to be leaving within the hour well guys we're rolling here they did give me a quick five minute uh, demo for how to get everything worked and I get everything up and running here, but I will say guys driving a big RV like this Especially on the highway driving that we're gonna be doing uh, for a little bit is gonna be pretty interesting We're gonna have to take it slow here. I haven't really driven anything of this size here But wow guys, this is pretty fancy. I will say it is a little bit more spacious and even a little bit more comfy of a ride than what I was expecting here But hey, hopefully we can get some more RV mods and things like this here in farm sim and I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Drop it down below how yours has been. Mine's been pretty good here. I am a little busy here, but it's always great uh, to be going camping. Let's get back on up to the utility trailer here. I do want to take this here with a few toys. Luckily, guys, this has a backup camera because I can't see out the rear view mirrors uh, to uh, get the trailer attached there as well. But hey, I'm so excited. So I think the family's almost ready. We're going to have to bring all the bags, uh, all the luggage we need. Uh, I do want to bring some fishing rods and things like that here. But for toys, guys, we are going to be bringing several things here. We're going to be bringing the dirt bike, the uh, dirt buggy here. This will be my first time ripping this around. And we're also going to be taking the quad. So let me get this. Uh, load it up quick I, it might be easier if I just uh, kind of set the camera up on a tripod We're all loaded up guys, we're ready to go here. The family's in the RV and the house is all locked up here now. I will say guys, I think Diesel knew we were heading out of town here. He kept kind of running around the uh, trailer and I think he kind of knew that we were going to be leaving for a few days here. But the neighbor is uh, already on their way to pick him up. Uh, which is awesome there. It's always great to have good neighbors like that. But I will say, guys, this Fleetwood really, really does look pretty sweet here. This was actually a mod conversion from FS19 here. But let's get rolling. We have about a four and a half to five hour drive. Now, if there is traffic, uh, it's definitely going to be a lot, a lot longer here as well. But it should be a lot of fun here. I think I'm probably going to put down the camera uh, for uh, probably a lot of the drive here. Just kind of show you guys maybe any any interesting thing that may happen along the way. 
I've been on the freeway for the last few hours guys and it looks like we're coming up on the exit here in a few miles. What I will have to say guys is Fleetwood's pretty good on the highway here with a little bit of wind it does get a little dicey uh, just with going back and forth here in the lane but so far so good and hey we might end up renting some more RVs here because this is actually a lot of fun here putting the family in a big RV bringing some toys and going camping here you guys can see a little bit of wind here and there and even a bump Bumper two definitely keeps you on your toes here as well, but oh, this is actually our exit here. Now, if you guys have gone camping before, let me know down below here. Was it with a tent? Was it with an RV? Things like that. I definitely want to see if we could just take like a, one of our pickup trucks with a few buddies and go camping as well. I think that would be also a lot of fun here. Now, one thing, looking at the GPS here, it is actually, oh, we are just right here. The campground actually looks to be right next to the highway. And yeah, I see some nice big uh, pine trees here. So, wow. Hey, it looks like we have arrived here. That's a little bit quicker than what I was thinking. You know, let's see if we can find the entrance. Oh yeah, nice big grand entrance here to the campgrounds here. Alright, we have to find a campgrounds here. I got signed in here. I paid right around $45 per a night and we are here for uh, four nights here. They do give you a little bit of a discount the more uh, nights you do buy here. But I want to go a little bit further here in the woods. Actually, there is a nice big open spot here. Oh yeah, this is going to work out perfect here for us. So I'm actually... I'm probably first going to get the <laughs> trailer unloaded and then we'll get going on the slide outs and the canopies. <laughs> Alright guys, we got all the toys unloaded here. Now I did put the trailer a little bit further up the campground. That way it gives us some room here. But let's see guys, let's get these fold outs and the canopy all ready to go. That is so sweet. So you guys can see we got one slide out on this side here, one on this side. That is going to be a lot of room here for us. Now I do actually have to put out the stabilizers here and I also need, I think, let's go around to this side here. Oh yeah, I need to uh, to put out the uh, floor mat here. That way the leaves and deb uh, debris don't go inside here. But I think before we do that, why don't we hop on the Honda here, just go ripping around here. Now guys, this quad, I have brought on several camping trips here. It's just kind of usual to bring, even uh, the family likes to just ride this around, especially when I I'm ripping it around with one of the other off-road toys. This is just kind of a nice thing to cruise around. And wow, this looks like a pretty awesome campgrounds here. Now, I have gotten a few uh, comments asking Square, uh, where do you get these campgrounds? I actually just make them all with the landscaping feature. But wow, it is time now. Let's get the campground set up, uh, do those last few things, and then we'll go ripping around. I'm thinking guys, let's hop on in the dirt buggy here. This is going to be our first time really getting to use this thing. I remember we bought it here, really didn't have a lot of time uh, to really rip around with it. Even not much woods other than just our yard here. But this thing guys was made for some fast turns and was made to just have a great time. Oh yeah, that rear wheel drive, a little uh, fish tail in it here and there. This thing is so uh, so sweet here. The handling on this is actually really, really good it seems here. Yeah, look at that. N turn, no problem. Might want to get a little bit uh, less traction up front I think would be a pretty cool thing. A little bit of kind of dirt drifting is uh, probably the way to go here. Little bits of dents and dings we're going to be getting uh, from uh, slowly uh, on as we uh, keep on owning this here. But hey, why don't we last up? Hop on in the dirt bike. It is already covered in dirt here, especially being the first vehicle behind the RV. The dirt and dust coming up off the road. It definitely got this thing covered in uh, dirt and dust here. But guys, I think I'm probably going to put down the camera now here. Just have a great time with the family and just uh, kind of relax and have a great weekend. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.